studying in another country can be very hard. I'm currently out in Yonsei, one of the top three universities in South Korea, to ask foreigners studying at Yonsei University what it's like being an international student in South Korea. What's your name and where you're from? Um, I'm Nuri and I'm from the United States. Hello, I'm Beatrice and I'm from Switzerland. Uh, my name is Felicia and I'm from Indonesia. I'm Ara from Turkey. Oh, I'm from Greece and I'm doing a graduate degree in English literature. Yeah. And I'm from France and I'm in political science. I'm from Mexico and my major is business management. Yeah, I'm from Mexico too and I'm majoring in industrial engineering. Hi, I'm from Mexico too and I'm studying business. Yeah, my name is Faye, I'm from Turkey. What are you studying in South Korea? Uh, we both study political science and international studies. So I'm studying uh, this major called bioconvergence, but it's basically bioengineering. I have no idea. Like uh, biology engineering, so it's like engineering with like biological uh, things. So for example, like I do a lot of like protein manufacturing or like re learning about things like that. You're very smart, but I still have no idea. My major is law. How long have you been in South Korea? Uh, eight months already. Why do you choose South Korea as your place of go to study? Because everybody goes to Europe for studying law as a, f a master's degree. I want to try something new. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Uh, so I chose Korea because I was really interested in, because my major is bioengineering, right? I was really interested in engineering with skincare, and Korea is very famous for its skincare. So, exactly. so like, what's your favorite like, skincare brand? Um, I have a lot. You can't really make me choose. It's like, you know how like people ask you what favorite food you have? Do you know Cause RX? No. Uh, so it's, it's a skincare brand, and it's really famous for its nail things. Okay. So it's, yeah, that's what I've been using right now. Why do you like the brand? Uh, it's cheap. <laughs> and yeah. I'm a student, you know, and it's really good quality for a cheap product, so, you know. Why did you come to study in Korea? I always wanted to study abroad. I always uh, very in I have been always interested in learning from other cu cultures and countries, etc., about people. And I was like, why Korea? It's just like I wanted something different, like a challenge, like a country that speaks a different uh, language, different food, different People, everything is just like something new for me, and I just wanted something like to a completely different experience. Oh uh, well, for me, I picked up Korean during the pandemic, so it was yeah, it was a nice hobby, <laughs> and yeah, so I came here looking for you know an experience to get to know the language a little bit more, make friends, and I think that the Korean culture compared to Mexican culture is like opposites right so it's been pretty fun to see like everyday life here um traditions the language how everyone interacts with each other is pretty different so i'm i'm really enjoying my time here for me i want to challenge myself and i know that korea is a difficult country for starting here so it's it's nice and i can be independent here i can be by myself here how long have you been in south korea uh almost four years now yeah. Oh it's like speak Korean. You can speak Korean? I can. Can you I don't know, flex your Korean a little bit? Uh 사실은 지금 감기 걸려서 지금 목소리 안 나가는데 죄송합니다. Oh my god, like you're so perfect. Like and I I just can't follow yeah. I know. I, I just can't compete with that. Yeah. Anyways, um you said you've been living in South Korea for four years. Yeah. How has that been like for you? Well I mean it's kinda hard, you know, like being a foreigner here is like you always feel that pressure that you're gonna be a foreigner forever, you know. They they're not gonna accept you. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So um I'm pretty sure you're currently a student, right? Yeah. What what's your major? I'm doing my master in media <laughs> media and communications. What is it like being a foreign student in South Korea? Um it's 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 definitely hard. It's very, very hard, but I mean, there's positives and negatives, so. Yeah. As long as you have a group of friends that you can trust and have fun with and experience Korean together, Korea together, I think it's much, much better than to be alone because it can be really hard to be the center of attention just because you're a foreigner. But if you're with friends, it's much better. So um, I, I was online most, most of my semester, so it's not, I don't think I have a lot of offline experiences. However, I feel like there are two kinds. There's like a, there's like a, it's really good because like if you meet people who, um, who help you along the way, especially like my friend here, so it's, that's good. But sometimes like, especially because it's online, you're isolated and like 
especially if you're foreign, you don't really have any connections to like other Korean students, especially because my major is mostly Korean students. So yeah, it could be hard. For me, just funny, I think. Oh, just it's, okay. But it's really hard. Is it? Yeah. What because aspect? Of yeah. the language. Yeah. It's my first experience in another country, so <laughs> I don't know, but I'm happy in here. Okay. I, d I actually uh, came to Korea as an exchange student for the first time. It was great. Being an exchange student in Korea is like having too much fun, like going places, seeing, tasting new food, making friends. It's all about that. Then I transferred to Korea and I did my bachelor's here too. So it was like bachelor was also kind of fun because you get to like experience a lot of stuff at school, like uh, doing clubs, like learning Korean and stuff, like making friends as well. It's fun, but right now I'm doing my master's, and to be honest, it's really hard. Oh my God. I'm gonna die, <laughs> like especially hard, and you need to know, know like really intense Korean because you need to read like uh, too many articles, and in, they are all in Korean, so it's really hard. But to be honest, as an ex master student and foreigner, I feel more welcomed at school because like our professors and like they, my friends I mean they, they went but yeah but they, they are more like welcoming like well, I, I felt that why did you come to Korea to study oh um I had seen a lot about like Korean culture online for like years now and I wanted to find a way to come here and I could get a scholarship here so that's why I'm studying here um, to be honest, I just, I just wanted to go to a farm from France and yeah, I was like, okay, going to Asia and I had just between Japan and Korea and yeah, definitely Korea looks better to hang out and with COVID there was less restriction here, so. What was the expectation before you came to Korea and did Korea like live up to that expectation? I honestly thought it was going to be so hard to communicate with everyone, but the people here have been so kind. They are really welcoming and even if we have a language barrier, they still try to make you feel welcome and help you out. So that's been very touching for me and I've like, I've, it's just, it's been, it's been pretty good. I don't feel lonely or scared or it's, it's very safe here too. So I've been having a lot of fun with my <laughs> friends and like meeting people from all over the world. That's been really nice. For me, I didn't have expectations before coming. I just want to know the country, so every time, everything was new, and I love it. <laughs> okay, I know, like, K-drama is just like, as in Mexico, telenovelas, so that's all, so it's not... <laughs> Watch the telenovelas back in my... Right? Dude, like, it's so good. No, no, seriously, like, it's so good. But, so you know they're not real, so we're, we were not expecting life here to be as in K-dramas, so we were not expect, expecting that at all. But, for example, for me, I thought it was a very, like, closed, um, very... Introverted. Introverted, kind of culture, right? exactly. Introverted. However, I arrived here and everyone is like wanted, want to talk to you, want to know about like, oh, where are you from? Or like, talk to you, just like know about you, like know about your culture and that's so, so nice. It's like, oh, you're actually like uh, very welcoming. I didn't have that much expectations because I didn't know very much things about Korea, but I'm very happy to be there and I really enjoy my, my semester here, so yeah. Academically, my expectations were that things were going to be pretty difficult mm -hmm. and like very time consuming. And um, they're kind of like that, but there's still like space and time to see Seoul and do things. So it's not as hard as I thought it would be. What is the difference between um, studying as an, as, as an international student, as an undergraduate and also like as a master's student? Because like I've, I think you've been like at both spectrum, right? Yeah. I mean, like, uh, I feel like when I was in ma bachelor, I was doing my bachelor degree. Uh, like Koreans didn't like Korean students didn't talk to me. They were like kind of shy, like to meet about me. Like they wouldn't come to me and talk to me. Even like I will be the only one in the class. They just didn't like even say hi to me, you know. But like as a master student, like. All the students tried to talk to me. Oh, where are you from? Like, how long have you been? Oh, your Korean is really good. Like, I think they are more welcoming. And would you recommend in like coming to South Korea to study to other foreigners in the future? Yeah. Um, I would. I would definitely recommend coming because I love Korea and studying here has been really fun. But I would recommend finding a school that's 
has a good reputation with foreigners and maybe coming for a Korean language program first because we're both like regular students so our classes are in Korean and we definitely um, are struggling with that a little bit and the school doesn't necessarily give us the best support so I would recommend like doing your research on finding like a good uh, foreign student program yeah 100 percent make sure to study korean before you start a degree in korea because you're not going to get a lot of support and you know you're studying a degree in korean so it's is very difficult so yeah the language is definitely the thing that you should be more focused on i think um i think i would recommend people who could take the change or like who could take like culture differences and like take the time to try to study other people's cultures and languages but like, if you do not make that effort, it wouldn't be hard for you. Do you think it's a lot easier as a foreign student to make friends with Korean students? I think it's not because I think they are shy or maybe they have another thing. I don't know. <laughs> another thing like what? I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit hard. No, I don't think so. Actually, I don't have Korean friends, maybe just one or two. And it's because they're my, uh, we call them kubas. My, my buddy that they are assigned to me from the university. So it's not that I made them separately or I just met them casually in a cafe, cafe place. So I think it's very hard because I think they already have like their groups and they're very um, like, okay, they already have their sets of friends and they don't open to more people. I also think that learning a little bit of Korean, even some expressions can make like a difference. It's a real advantage and I've been very lucky and grateful to have been introduced to other people, so other Koreans, and then they introduced me to other friends. So, so I truly appreciate that. <laughs> For me, it's very, it has been very hard too. I only have like two Korean friends and most of them is the for her. So I think it's hard because I don't know the language, but it, it's, it's true, you should, you should learn a little bit Korean and it's very helpful.